Hi. Hey. I uh, have a day job. answering service. Uh, I do. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an answering service is, I'm sure you can imagine what cubicles are and people working in them. And uh, I'm an artist, so I demand that we transcend that idea. Uh, do you remember the ending of Superman 2? Where they put the evildoers into, into these triangles and they, they had them suspended in space. Well, that's kind of like what a call center is like without all the evil in it. Okay. But you have a toy in your house somewhere that's broken. And you're going to call that number on the side of the box. And you're going to get me. And I'm going to take down all your information. And I'm going to email it to China. One day, this woman, she calls up and she says, The toy! I'm going to send an email to the child that made your toy. <laughs> now, I didn't say that to her. Though those words were perched on the edge of my tongue, because you have to understand, all calls are being recorded for quality purposes. See, we answer phones for all the industries that there are including your landlord, you know, the doctor's offices. If you ever find yourself stuck on an elevator and you press that button, you're gonna get me. And you press that bus button by accident, well, keep your hands to yourself and have a nice ride. But we answer for phones. Also, we, we, we place orders for you too, so if you like the porn, We'll order that too. And you know the most popular day uh, to order porn is uh, is Mother's Day for that special gift. We had uh, one guy. He would call every month and order five dollar DVDs. He would order two hundred dollars worth of these five dollar DVDs, just filled with the best porn ever. And. Uh, you know, one day, I, I lucked out and I got him on the phone and uh, as I was putting uh, Big Bucks number 32 into his shopping cart, he says, You probably think I'm a creep. Will there be anything else, sir? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the reason why I order all these every month is because when I go out in the street and sell them, I sell them for 10 and 20 dollars each because I got family in Mexico and in Central America We're trying to get over the border to come live here in this country for a better life. And I process his order and say, hey, uh, we'll talk to you next month. Thank you for your order. You know what's odd though? Uh, we also answer phones for GSAs, which are government uh, offices. You know, like uh, uh, like your local representatives and congressmen. Did you know that? Uh, do you know what the difference is between someone who orders porn and to someone who calls their congressman, say in a fun state like Arizona? Uh, not much. Uh, <laughs> they sound pretty much the same. They're desperate. They're lonely. They don't have all their teeth. And um, way. And uh, there, there have been times they would scream into the phone, especially during Arizona during the health care crisis, the health care bill. What health care crisis? It, it's been ongoing for 10 years and we're starting to notice now, really? Okay. <laughs> so uh, they would call and they would scream into the phone and say, I don't want this N-word bill. Except they wouldn't say the N, say N-word like I'm telling you. They're, they're, they're saying the whole word. Now, I get to hear this, and, and so do all of my coworkers. Uh, and, and my coworkers, I don't know if you know, uh, some of them have master's degrees, some of them have done jail time, and some of them are living in shelters. And the last thing they need to hear is some piece of shit from Arizona 
calling the health care bill the N-word bill. And I have to calm them down. I spend my day calming people down, saying, please, please, I understand they're ignorant. We're on the same team here. We're on the same side. We, yes, I'm aware that health care is shitty as I pay my $50 call pay. I'm going to pay for half of my insurance. I, I, I am insured. Not very well, but I am. And it's, uh, yeah, I know. Take a good look because we're, we're getting rarer. I, I start feeling like one of those, one of, I, I'm going to turn into a unicorn at any moment, you know? It's one of those moments. But yeah, so we get to hear this, and, and, and they, they don't really sound that much different. And that surprises me. And that's why I said to my boss, why don't we get more of these porn companies? Because at least they're honest, you know? All right, thank you very much. My name is Wendy. Maggie Natal, give us some more LOD. <laughs>